Hey guys, it's Jessie V. So, as you can tell, I'm still in the same outfit from my first main floor house tour, and that is because I put that video up on YouTube, and you guys really, really wanted me to do a basement tour. So this is, I'm currently filming this a few hours later because I decided to just film it all on the same day. And um, yeah, there's not too much to say. The basement is not super creepy just because it is fully finished. But then again, basements are just creepy in general because they're dark and they're cold. And all of the rooms are empty, which gives kind of an eerie feel. But I don't think you guys will be too creeped out by it. It's nothing like my old basement, let me just tell you that. But I'm going to show it to you guys anyways because I know you're curious and yeah, I just... I hope you enjoy it. Here you go. Okay, guys, you requested this. <laughs> so um, this is going to be the entrance to my basement here. If you walk down to the right, there is a washroom, and I'll show you inside there. It's nothing too fancy, but I did decorate it a bit. So I have a little light here and a bulldog. And then I have just this, this thing that people wash their hands with. What is this? Oh, a towel. And then up here, this is really cool. I'll try and turn it on for you guys. But if you spin it, the light turns on. If I can do it, hold on, there we go. Isn't that cool? I'll turn the light off for a second. But like when guests come over, I think that would be just so cool in this bathroom. I just hope the batteries don't run out really quickly. And then I had this from my old room actually. And then I found that really cool like gear looking clock to kind of fit with the steampunk theme. There's the toilet. You guys have never seen one of those before, have you? And uh, oh, there's me. So if you walk out of the washroom, you walk down these stairs and you're basically in the basement. So let's go to the right first. This is just a really boring storage room. There's nothing too interesting in here. This is just all the boxes that I have no idea what to do with. And as you can see, this is the box with all my creepy dolls, which ugh, I don't even want to look at anymore. Um, I have my furnace. This room is honestly, I don't like this room very much. I will never really be in here. Also that under the stairs, that dark room, it's like a massive like dark tunnel that I do not not want to explore. So whatever that is, it's freaky. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like any second I'm gonna see like a face in there staring at me. So we're just gonna leave. We're gonna leave this room. How about that? Goodbye, creepy dolls. Goodbye. Okay, so over here, I have a guest room. This can either be a guest room or I guess like a workout room or something, but it's pretty spacious. I actually have a lot of uh, space in my basement. And of course, the previous owners just did this to the carpet. So nice of them. So I have to clean it. And then over here, this is where Harry Potter lives. So now whenever I'm freaked out by my basement, I can think, wait a second, Harry Potter's down here with me. Whoa, did you guys hear that? That was creepy. But yeah, basically this is just that entrance way to the creepy tunnel that I just showed you. It's weird in there, it's creepy. I don't wanna go in there. And then over here, oh look, we have lights. Lights make things less creepy. So this is like a massive entertainment room. The previous owners actually had a massive TV here and they set up like their couches around it. So I will probably do that as well. And then it's a walkout basement, which is really, really nice. Oh my gosh, the door's open. Um, okay, I'm really creeped out right now. How is the door open? Hold on, guys. I'm really freaked out, but I'm just gonna finish the tour anyway, and then I'm gonna call my dad, because that was not supposed to happen. I, I have no idea how that happened, so yeah, I'm just gonna finish the tour quickly. So this is just another guest room in here. I might make it a workout room as well, I'm not too sure. And then if you head down this way, that is just another storage room in there. And then this is a guest washroom. And I'm so sorry guys, but I'm actually gonna run upstairs because I'm really freaked out right now. Um, I don't know how that how that door was open. So I'm gonna go upstairs and call my dad just to make sure everything's okay. Okay, so this is not how the tour was supposed to go at all. And now I'm in my car and I'm just really, really freaked out. Called my dad, called my mom. Dad won't answer. My mom says that my dad is up swimming at a quarry. Um, kind of near my house So I'm hoping afterwards you can come by and just kind of walk through the house to make sure nothing's happened I would call the police, but it's just maybe someone forgot to um, close the door earlier today because my boyfriend was over earlier today um, We had a plumber over my dad was over maybe one of them opened the door and just forgot So I don't want to like jump to conclusions at least I'm out of the house That's what's important and um, I guess we'll see what happens I'm just waiting to get a call back from my dad and um, until then I'm safe in a car so we will see. Okay, so update, I am back in my house and I found out what the problem was. My dad called me back and he said that when the plumber was over this morning, him and my dad opened the back patio door and obviously forgot to close it. So it was them and no one broke in the house. Thank goodness, I was so scared. The minute I saw that that door was open down there, like my, I went entirely cold. My body went cold. I'm sure you guys can hear my reaction to it, but um, yeah. 
just to let you guys know everything is good everything is fine i can actually breathe again but yeah that was uh that was scary it kind of cut the basement uh, tour a little short and honestly even though i know it was just them i don't really want to go down there right now again so all right guys i hope you enjoyed this basement tour i really hope there's no ghosts living down there like my old house honestly i'm so scared that whatever was there latched onto me and came here just because there have been some freaky things happening and i think i'm gonna make a story time about that they're not terrifying but they're definitely signs that maybe the ghost followed me here maybe i don't want to say for sure yet but i will tell you some of the things that have happened very soon but anyways i hope you guys do have an awesome rest of your day and i'll see you in my next video bye